Hi, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to talk about AWS Data Lake. So, this data lake uh, is very, uh, very new to AWS platform. It is yet to be launched uh, globally. It is in preview state uh, in few of the availability zones and region so uh, we are going to just discuss about what it does what are its features and how it is beneficial for our uh, <coughs> big data solution in AWS uh, environment it delivers an integrated suite of services that provide everything needed to quickly and easily build and manage a data lake for analytics AWS powered data lakes can handle the scale agility and flexibility required to combine different types of data and analytics approaches to gain and deeper insight in a in ways that uh, uh, traditional data silos and data uh, warehouses cannot do so there are more organizations with data lakes and analytics on aws than anywhere else so nowadays uh, most of the people most of the customers they are moving on to data lake rather than you know uh, just utilizing one or two services and uh, in a way it is good also because you get a centralized data repository in the form of s3 or uh, uh, maybe you know ebs volumes so depending upon your need you can create your data lake so uh, definitely if we if you look at the uh, current uh, diagram you you can actually uh, move your data very quickly you can import your data from uh, an on-premise uh, data centers uh, to your data lake which is based on aws cloud and you can also uh, move or import your data from uh, in a real-time basis from various uh, iot devices or maybe from uh, system logs or something like that then uh, you can store any type of data which uh, securely from gigabyte to exabyte so uh, space is not a constraint and you pay as you go so whatever amount of space you are going to consume you're going to only pay for it you know you don't have to you know uh, go for uh, additional upfront cost and definitely you can analyze your data with the broad set selection of analytic services which we have already discussed and we are going to discuss in uh, our uh, upcoming lectures uh, not only that uh, data lake also uh, helps you in performing machine learning tasks so like future predictions out and outcomes and proceed prescribe actions for rapid response so all those things are uh, becomes super easy not only that if we have to talk about uh, some of the benefits of uh, uh, data in data lake so of course object storage uh, helps you uh, in lot, a lot of uh, durability uh, which is like 10 11 nines of durability then we have a multi-tier storage environment which is uh, s3 standard then s3 infrequently uh, accessible then uh, you have amazon glacier so on and so forth uh, and of course uh, you have quick response time and retrieval time so your entire data is safe secure compliant with all the regulatory norms along with its durability and flexibility plus the cost benefit cost benefit you have so uh, of course it, it, it is very uh, durable and the storage is as per your budget and requirement then uh, you can definitely back up all your data which you are not using or maybe you're not accessing frequently you can move back all that data to amazon glacier and uh, it is again 11.9 durable and uh, of course it will give you more uh, cost effectiveness and then uh, let's say if you do not uh, if you just want to do the cataloging of your data you just put all your data in uh, uh, amazon uh, data lake and then uh, apply the glue service which will which is nothing but a fully managed service that provides a data catalog to make data in the data lake discoverable and has ability to extract transform and load to prepare data for analysis so not only uh, not only it manages uh, the cataloging of the data but it does the it it does help you in the etl process so it will make your data ready for your analysis and then you can plug and play your uh, tools to perform analytic predictions or you know any kind of a graph a chart or any kind of analytics that you want to perform not only that uh, with the help of data lake you can actually go ahead and uh, uh, you know go for interactive analysis uh, using athena then you have uh, amazon emr which is uh, purposefully been given for elastic map reduce jobs so let's say if you have any 
specific MapReduce job or maybe you know, any Spark job or HPS job that you already um, uh, you have been using in your existing environment but now you want to utilize that same piece of code or same kind of functionality using a cloud's benefit definitely you can move everything in the uh, Amazon EMR and then making use of Amazon Data Lake and EMR you can make you uh, you can you know optimize your cost you can optimize your uh, report uh, processing time and uh, so on and so forth then uh, using Amazon Redshift which is a MPP database uh, which will give you a very high throughput data warehousing capability it is very very cheap and it starts for as small as 25 cents per hour and it can scale up to petabytes so it is up to you like how how you want to use it there are lots of use cases uh, like um, you can do real time analysis using amazon kinesis you can use firehose to uh, you know plug in your uh, real time data and put it in a um, data lake and then you start digging the data as per your requirement uh, your amazon elastic search service is going to give you an operational analytics so for operational analytics such as application monitoring log analytics and click stream analytics you can use Amazon Elasticsearch service which will allow you to search, explore, filter, aggregate and visualize your data in near real time. So there are lots of applications that we have for uh, Amazon Data Lake. It not only gives you security, it gives you, you know, flexibility to store your data as in when you go. Then you have uh, other services for like Amazon Quick Sites which is utilized for creating dashboards and visualization charts. and uh, last but not the, not the least you can definitely utilize all your data which is kept on data lake in machine learning so for predictive analytics use cases aws provides a broad set of machine learning services and tools that run on your data lake on aws and the service come from the knowledge and capability that the amazon have built where machine learning has powered amazon.com's recommendation engines supply chain forecasting fulfillment centers and capacity planning so um, you have uh, lots of uh, platform services application services and frameworks and interfaces so lots of uh, you know machine learning deep learning um, tools you can make use of and uh, definitely you are going to get the benefit of the flexibility that is inbuilt in aws now a uh, lot many people will say that okay you have got uh, you know lots of services uh, which amazon is anyways offering and we have already discussed so why is the need to come up with this kind of uh, separate service why data lake and analytics on aws so definitely uh, flexibility and choice so aws offers the broad uh, broad set set of analytic tools and engines that analyzes data using open formats and open standard so you get to store your data in the standards based data format of your choice like csv org grok avro and parquet and the flexibility to analyze the date day in a variety of ways such as data warehousing interactive sql queries real-time analytics and big data processing you name it and uh, most of the available uh, services in the market are available on the aws platform so that flexibility and uh, the choice you have got on the uh, aws data lake and uh, with the help of analytic tools then you have unmatched scalability and availability which is amazon s3 is the built to store and retrieve any amount of data with unmatched availability and built from the ground up to deliver 11 9 of durability now, it is only storage offering that can store your data in multiple data centers across the availability zone within a single aws region or unmatched resilience to single data center issue so it is very high, highly resilient, fault tolerant and you the high availability data source. So you can just you know save it and forget about it. And let's say if you want to save the cost, you can move your data in a cyclic way to the uh, lesser um, you know prized uh, da uh, data layers. So and, and not to mention that it is highly secure. So it follows all the security norms. It comes with key management system. It comes with um, uh, it it comes with uh, uh, all the encryptions. Uh, uh, not only that, you can uh, you know look out for Amazon um, Macy service, which will actually uh, find out the sensitive data which are 
uh, which are uh, ma mandatory to be compliant in terms of GDPR and other uh, regulatory things. So you can actually discover those data, can mask it, all those things can be done. And then of course it is cost effective because the data lakes built on AWS are the most cost effective. Uh, the data that is infrequently used can be moved to Amazon Glacier and which provides long term backup and archive at a very low cost. And definitely, you know, storing data in uh, in AWS S3 or even in our Amazon Data Lake is going to be very uh, cost effective because uh, you pay only what you use. You don't have to over provision your uh, storage or anything. You, you, you just uh, pay for what you use. Now, for fast performance, definitely the analytics service like Amazon Redshift, Amazon Athena were built to build for fast interactive query performance to support large number of concurrent interactive queries. So when you're running AWS uh, broad portfolio of analytics and machine learning services using Amazon S3, only the subset of data that are needed within objects are returned, leading to much fast, faster queries for up to like as fast as 4000 times faster and uh, um, it could be you know very cheap in terms of retrieval and storage and all those things and not to uh, not to forget the feature that we have where you can you know move your uh, unnecessary data into glacier so that way it will be easier for you to store and save your cost the AWS is again the largest partner network and has uh, twice as many partner integrators as anyone else in this field so when tens and thousands of partners including consulting and independent software vendors from all across the globe participate in such kind of a um, you know service definitely as a customer we can get benefit out of it this makes it easy to work and integrate with many of the same tools you use and love today so definitely it um, not only that it it is easy to start it is easy to you know just to uh, plug in with multiple um, you know applications with multiple uh, data sources and it's it's very so, uh, easy to you know initiate a data lake just imagine a scenario where in you are asked to create a data lake now look at the you know the pain that you have to go through in order to design a data lake in order to um, figure out what could be the its capacity what could be its compute how it should be you know in uh, you know arranged with each other what what are the security parameters and uh, 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 there are lots of things that you need to you know take care of so but with aws data lake it comes all in one single service and you can make use of all the other underlying aws services that we have already spoken of so uh, in a way this particular service is going to be a game changer for people who are going to use uh, aws data lake uh, as their analytic platform so ho hope this lecture was useful and uh, hope uh, I have made certain uh, points. I will just go through certain, uh, some more uh, points that I have written on uh, written here. So uh, of course it is a centralized repository that allows you to store all your structured and unstructured data at any scale. And uh, data can be imported from any source as I mentioned earlier. It could be ERP, CRM, data warehouse, lob, devices web sensors, social media, you name it and you can just import data from anywhere. Um, of course, it can be used for business intelligence, machine learning, data warehouse, queries, big data processing, interactive analytics and real time processing. Uh, of course, works on all type of application and tools without any data movement because the data is going to store at the AWS data lake. All you need to do is to point, figure out where your data is point your tool towards the data and start exploring start doing the analytics aws data lake is also designed for low cost storage data storage and analytics which i have mentioned that it is going to give you you know flexibility and the efficiency of saving your cost so in a way um, it, it you know eases out your burden and uh, definitely it makes more sense to store your data in such a format and plug and play your uh, tools and you can always you know bring down your tools as in when you need you can go back again so depending upon how you want you can do it now um, how, what would be the data life cycle in aws data lake so if you look at the diagram here you have a setup storage that set up a channel from which data will be stored 
So you will have to define an availability zone, VPC, security policies and data storage and archival mechanism. So once you are done with that, you need to move the data. Now you can move the data in AWS S3 in the raw format and manage the archival policy once the raw data gets consumed. So as I mentioned earlier that you can set your uh, you know data policy, data lifecycle that after how many days data is going to move from one uh, data storage class to another data storage class and further at the end of the cycle how the data is going to get stored in Glacier for archival or maybe after some time you want to destroy it. So it completely is customizable and easy to configure. Then before you do the analysis definitely you cleanse the data, prepare the data, catalog the data which is nothing but the ETL part of it. So clean your raw data, catalog it for a better consumption, initiate the archival process for the used raw data. Now the last part is make data available for analytics. So once you are you know cleaning data, cataloging it, you can put it in a separate S3 bucket which are, which you know can be used after applying all the desired security policies and um, you can make it available to all the analytics and machine learning tools. So that way it will be easy for anybody to uh, you know utilize this uh, same set of data for multiple uh, types of analytics. So hope this lecture was useful and uh, I made certain uh, points which uh, were really relevant for understanding of what AWS Data Lake is. For more understanding, for more uh, information, you can definitely go back to Amazon, aws.amazon.com slash big data and you can read more about it. Though this service is still uh, in the preview, uh, I'm sure you will uh, find it more attractive when it comes to, you know, creating your data lake on cloud platform. So thanks for watching the lecture and uh, we'll see you in the next lecture. Thanks. Bye.